Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I stated in a video that you could clean this up, but it'd almost be easier to draw another one, and I'm not 100% sure if I can, but I want to give it a shot. I found a musical note on the internet pretty close to size, so we need to make this thing look like it trails into the note. So I'm going to take the two-point line. I'm just going to kind of envisioning it going, or the three-point curve line, and kind of going like right there. And then over here, I'm gonna go from this side up into here and give it a little bit of a curve. But then I need to block off these intersections and really it'd be easier to just go ahead and grab the two point line on that. Um, I'm trying to, I'm making a feel. I don't want the, um, it to leak. So we're gonna give it a shot, see if it leaks and Voila, it doesn't. That's where our notes are gonna go. Now from here on out, we wanna nudge. We don't wanna move. And I'm gonna left click, right click. I'll keep it in black. I've already drawn out a couple of keys. And it really what you have to do, and, and I could probably, probably need to smooth this up a little bit. Sorry about that. And, um, we can go ahead and smooth it up now just a little bit with the smoothing tool. Probably not ultra, uh, important, but we do want it kind of smooth for the notes to go in. And I have no clue if this is going to work. I'm going to give it a shot. So let's good enough. Now I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard to make a, a copy of that. And I really just need the notes on one side. So I'm gonna take my shape tool again and grab that right click and put break apart, right click, break apart. And then I can take my virtual segment delete key and I just have half that line. Now, like I said, I've already drawn out a couple of keys and I didn't take any time doing that, um, you know, where it was worth a flip. Um, they are grouped together. Not very important, but you can always hit B or T and get them kind of even. I'm gonna blend them, let's say 30 times. Hit apply. Of course, they were real close together. And then uh, new path. I should have already been on that new path. Let me zoom in here a little bit. The reason those look solid black is because there's 30 of them and they're so close together. And, and then blend along full path and rotate all objects. Kind of the, the opposite of the other one. You know, the other ones have the, the things coming out. So let's do this. Let's, let's flip this and then blend them. See if that'll help. Blend along full path. Blend, rotate, apply. And I've got too many of them probably. Well, that didn't look half bad. You know, I think what's gonna be better, well, I'll tell you what, since we nudge, we can nudge back, see what it looks like. See, it's not even close because it's on the outside. So let's back up here completely and try this. Let's just move this out of the way for a second. And let's take this and let's go uh, effects and contour. We'll contour the inside. Well, let's go to the center, like 0.1. And see what I'm trying to get is an interior line. So that's too many. So let's go 0.2. And that might work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that line. I'm going to go ahead and ungroup it, break the contour part. And now what I need to do is I'm kind of using that as a reference. I'm going to take my three point curve line and I'm going to go from there to like right there and then curve this over to that line. Now I'm going to go ahead and make it red. So we'll be able to see it again. And then I need to do the opposite, 
probably go down to right in about the middle and try to curve it. Yeah, not going to work, so let's back up here one. I wasn't even thinking about this, but I think this will help. So all I want to try to do is make a curved line. And then we can go from there about there to there and curve it. And then go from there to there and curve it. All I'm trying to do is kind of getting a... Um, I probably didn't even have to contour because I, I can see the middle pretty good. But now let's take this thing and move it out of the way. And there we have our curved line. And at this time, we could smooth it up a little bit, but I'm not going to for the video. Let's just delete that. Now let's take our, tell you what, make sure this is all one line. Let's curve on one layer. Take those, let's spread them out a little bit this time. So they'll look a little better. Let's get rid of the contour docker. Go to apply, new path, blend along full path and rotate all objects. Okay, I need to flip them again. So just grab them both and mirror them. That'll help it look better. Apply, new path, along the path, blend along full path, rotate all objects. And that's going to probably work. Now, what we could do is we need to probably go up and break the blend apart. And let's see if we can't grab our red line and hit delete. But let's go ahead and group these guys. Control G. And let's make a another well about this and move it, nudge it over. Of course, ref, left click, right click. And let's try just nudging it over. Oh, I missed two. I need to group them together. I didn't get them all in the first group. Let's just try nudging it over. You know, that doesn't look half bad. So what I'm gonna try to do now, cause we need to get rid of the access. We could do a number of things, but let's just, Let's try power clipping. That doesn't look half bad. We can go to edit and then we can move this around a little bit. And let's say finish. You know, for just a few minutes, let's uh, take our outline away. Whoop. Maybe we can't do that right click outline and nudge it back. Now, make and that looks better. I didn't take very long time drawing the keys, but we'll take our smart fill tool, fill that in, fill that in and fill that in. And it does look like it's kind of going in there. I, I would have picked a better note where it's thinner up here, but that's pretty impressive. And then we could probably go take the whole thing and take away the line by right clicking. I'm pretty impressed. I could have, you know, I could have made the notes or the keys better, um, you know, put some single lines. Uh, I just did double lines the whole way. But anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.